Hello guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 3. The problem says that a 300 Newton force P is applied at point A of the bell crank shown. Compute the moment of the force P about O by resolving it into horizontal and vertical components. Using the, res uh, the result of part A, determine the perpendicular distance from O to the line of action of P. So first of all, in part A, we are required to find the moment of force P about point O. So the moment about point O due to that force P. And it is said that res by find the moment by resolving it into horizontal and vertical components. So this is the free body diagram. This represents OA arm. This represents OB arm. This is that force P which is making 30 degree. So we can resolve this force P into vertical component and horizontal components like this. This since this component is attached with the angle. So this is the cos component. This one is a sine component. So we can show that this is uh, P cos of 30 and P magnitude is given as well. And this is P sine of 30 so we can find this uh, moment by considering these components one by one or we can say that by applying the Varignan's theorem so this uh, sine component is producing the moment about point o in the clockwise direction and the perpendicular distance between this component and that point o is this distance so this distance so we are given that the oa arm has a length of 200 mm so then this distance this distance will be 200 um sine of 40 degrees since we are going to consider this right angle triangle so let me write that this length from here to here the horizontal distance between uh, point o and a will be 200 cos of uh, 40 degrees or in mm this length will be 0 0.2 meters so we can say that that will be 0 0.2 cos of 40 degrees and this distance from here to here this distance will be 0 0.2 sine of 40 degrees considering uh, this right angle triangle and this length is 0 0.2 meters so now this uh, sine component is producing the clockwise moment about point O and the perpendicular distance between this uh, point A and O in the vertical direction is this. So we can say that and P magnitude is uh, 300. This P magnitude is 300. This is 300 Newton. So 300 sine of 30 times the perpendicular distance so this is the perpendicular distance which is 0 0.2 sine of 40 degrees and it is producing the clockwise moment so we will write minus and similarly this cos component is producing the moment about point o in the counterclockwise direction and the perpendicular distance between this component and this point o is this distance which is 0 0.2 cos of 40 so it is producing the counterclockwise moment this must be positive Counterclockwise moment is always assumed to be positive, so we will write that this is positive. So we can write that P cos of 30, P is 300, so 300 cos of 30 times 0 0.2 cos of 40 degrees. So this will give us the moment of that force P about point O. So minus 300 sine of 30 into 0 0.2 sine of 40 this gives me minus 19.284 and similarly that one is 300 cos of 30 into 0 0.2 cos of 40 so this is plus this is 39.805 so this is uh, this is that answer so this 
minus 19.284 so this gives me mo the moment about point o due to that force p equals to 20.52 newton meter now in the second part of the problem we are we it is said that using this value of the moment about point o determine the perpendicular distance from o to the line of action of force p so what does this mean is that if we extend the line of action of this force p somehow like this so we are required to find the perpendicular distance between this point o and the line of action of that force p so let me show that let me erase all these now so if we extend the line of action of that force p let's let me extend the same force so we are required to find the perpendicular distance between this point o and the line of action of this force p so let me join um, a line like this and let's say that uh, this intersection point is let's say point c so this oc length is the perpendicular distance and let's say this perpendicular distance is represented by d so this is the d so we are required to find this d so it's very easy we need to write this mo since we are required to use this same mo so this will be equal to that force p times d and since the they are perpendicular so we can use this definition of moment p times d and this is equal to 20.52 and that d will be equal to 20.52 divided by p which is 300 so this is equal to 20.52 divided by 300 this gives us d equals to 0 0.0684 meters and if you want to convert this into mm so as we know that one meter is equal to thousand mm so we need to multiply this answer with thousand so this will give us d equals to 68.4 meters we can find this d by using the geometry by using this diagram by using this right angle triangle o a c here we have that 90 degree and as we know that this line of action is making um, 30 degree like this if i draw a line here so here we have that 30 degree angle so now as we can see that this line is perpendicular with this line and this line is perpendicular with the vertical so the angle between the vertical and this line is 30 so the angle between this and this is 30 as well so we can say that this angle is 30 as well so from this we can say that this whole angle is 70 this is 90 this is 20 so we can say that um, this whole angle is this whole angle is 70 so considering this uh, right angle triangle this 0 0.2 this oa is the hypotenuse so this d will be the cost component of this oa considering this 70 degree angle so then from that we can say that d is equal to 0 0.2 cos of 70 will give us that perpendicular distance so 0 0.2 cos of 70 uh, sorry this is 0 0.2 cos of 70 this gives us 0 0.0684 multiplying it with 1000 will give us that 68.40 in mm so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for such more problems from Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Baron Johnston.